Hi, Andoni. How's the injury and illness list looking this week? I, I think it's going to be pretty similar that we had uh, past week. Uh, we haven't had any any new issue. Uh, we have uh, Darren Randolph is, is already training with the group. It's good news. Uh, Junior is still fighting against the illness. I don't think he's still ready to to help us. And um, Alex and Max are uh, doing some things uh, outside with the with the group. But I think the squad will look uh, pretty similar to to past weeks. No new knocks or illnesses. No new illnesses. No, injuries? no, nothing, nothing. Everyone finished well. The the tough week we had past week, the, the three games we played. So I think the ones that were ready against United will be ready again to go. That win over United at Old Trafford, what's that done for the confidence and the belief among the squad? I think not just the game, uh, last last performances, last results. I think they are always. Uh, very good, confidence-wise, uh, but we still need more wins, need more points. We we want to keep it going, keep this good form as, as long as we can. And uh, tomorrow we have a, a different game from the other one, from the one away against United, but it's going to be also very tough. What's it done for your belief, that win? Because just, what, six weeks ago you were nine games without a win and people doubting you. D does it, is it nice to, to see things clicking and, and from a personal point of view just give yourself a confidence boost? Yeah, but it's something that we were seeing you know, the, the, the previous games also. No, I think uh, we are coming from very good uh, results, but it's true that uh, we started badly the season, so we still need to recover the... The, the points we, we, we lost and we want to keep it going, keep the good performances. Uh, obviously, we know that we were going to lose, we were going to tie, we were going to... But keep the, 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 the level, the standard, the, 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 the way that the players are, are playing now, because mid-long term, I think it's going to give us results. Does that rank as your best win as a manager? Well, it's difficult. It's difficult to compare between different leagues, different countries. Obviously, if I have to choose from this season in England, for sure, I think it's a, a very good performance, very good result. Uh, uh, but it's, it's difficult to compare because we also had good results there in, in Spain. And your targets for this season, do they change at all? Do you start to look up the table now, talk of European places? No, I think... Uh, we have to know that uh, we still uh, want more points. Uh, the, the, the league is really, really competitive. Uh, for us, tomorrow's game against Luton is 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 uh, really important because they are, I think, the best, the first team no, in this relegation spot. So for us to win against them is is uh, it would be uh, very, very important. But we also know that it's going to be tough because. All the games against Luton, nobody's winning them easy. Nobody. It's difficult to play well against them because they are really competitive and, and they also have had very good performances this past week. One player in particular who stood out is Dominic Solanke, a player for a long time, has had huge potential. Why do you think he's finally realising that now? I think he has been playing really well since the first day. Uh, now probably that the team is winning games and is performing better, he is having more chances. But uh, I think he has been quite uh, regular in his performances, and uh, he has this level. He's not like we. No, he, he's he's uh, he's really good number nine, and we hope he can continue helping us the same way. If his form continues, do you think he could maybe push for an international call-up in time for next summer? Well, this is very difficult for me, you know, because uh, for sure the national team coaches analyze everything. They have a lot of high quality players to choose from, especially considering uh, the English players. They have a really, really high level, but it's true that he's uh, performing in a, in a really, really high level. Also. Are you worried you may have to try, fight to keep hold of him come January? There could be some interest from other clubs. At the end, every time the market opens, uh, you never know what is going to happen, you know, but it's not something that uh, 
I'm worried about, you know, I, I focus in the everyday work, in the games we have, tomorrow Luton, and whenever the, the market opens, we'll see what, what, what happens. Important for you, though, to keep your best players in January? Yes, it's always. Always, uh, every time you you go to a market, you want to finish with uh, with a better team that you start every market. I think the uh, winter market is a little bit uh, different, but obviously, as, as all the coaches, we want to keep our best players, yes. And Lloyd Kelly's future, any developments on that in terms of beyond this season? No, it's uh, a little bit uh, uh, similar. No, uh, I don't want to lose any of the, our best players. You ask for Dom, ask for Lloyd Kelly. They are one of our best players for sure. Uh, but you never know what's going to happen every time the the window is open. You'd like to, him to see the contract out then to the end of the season. Yeah, of course. I I, I want to keep the, our best players. I think if we are talking about these players, there is no lot of dubs that uh, they are they are playing really well uh, and 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 we'll see what what happens do you envisage being busy in january in terms of strengthening i think uh, the, the the market in january uh, for uh, for me as a coach is still you know it's far we have a lot of games to play before the market but normally it's about uh, uh, substituting the players that want to leave because they are not playing so much and they want to go somewhere where they can have more minutes and uh, normally it's not an easy easy market uh, to sign to sign players so you're not targeting in one position or any positions at the moment no no i think uh, we will see when the market comes but i think it will be more about the players that want to leave or uh, they leave to to replace those players and you mentioned luton um Three defeats now in a row, albeit two were one against Arsenal, one against Manchester City. What are you expecting from them? They seem to be improving, albeit not getting the results. I think they are playing really well. They are making every game very competitive. Uh, they were unlucky past week because they were very close to winning against Arsenal, even against City. And uh, we've suffered against this, this, these two teams especially. So it's makes us think that uh, they have the level and it's not going to be easy because every time they are playing they are you can see a team with the spirit winner of duels and uh, it's not going to be easy for us tomorrow yeah thank you yeah, well. and Donny, just to stay on the uh, the Luton theme for a moment obviously they're big results or big performances against city and arsenal or both at home how different a proposition are they away to when they're playing on their home turf I think they are not changing so much the tactical approach. You know, it's true that uh, in their stadium probably they have more confidence, like all the teams do, and and, and they, they they are with the support of of the fans. But uh, for them also, I'm sure it's going to be an important game because after playing so well against City, against Arsenal, they will want to keep this form and take the points against us. But for us, also, it's a very, very important game because we want to keep the, the 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 level of our last performances, to keep uh, also our way we are playing at home, to keep the level of of chances we are creating. We know that tactically will be very different from last games we played. We will not find maybe so so many spaces, but I think we we have to to play with the same attitude of, of trying to to be vertical and try to, to attack fast. Do you think we will see teams approaching games against Bournemouth differently now because of the form you've put together? Uh, probably, I think uh, all the teams make adjustments. They will try to to find our weaknesses and to to, to close the, the spaces. But we will also have to adapt. We'll have to change things. We'll have to uh, attack especially differently and I hope we are we are able to 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 play more more different roles no? it must be nice as a manager now to be dealing with people's expectations getting higher rather than dealing with problems earlier in the season yeah I, I always say we were not as bad when the the season started and we are not as good we are somewhere in the middle and we have to find uh, our consistency our you know even when we are not brilliant 
to win the games we won against Palace, for example, that okay, we haven't been very, the, the, the forwards haven't been probably in their best moment, but we have been solid and we, we, we deserve to win today, even without having these uh, standout performances. Adam Smith said to us after the game at Manchester United that he felt that Bournemouth hadn't been getting enough credit and that after United, a lot of the reports were about how United had lost rather than that you had won. Did that bother you that you didn't get enough credit? Or did you feel you didn't get enough credit? No, I think it's something normal. No, I think there are big clues with a uh, very big repercussion and it's it's uh, normally about them. No, it's not like uh, they not value Bournemouth, but uh, normally they talk about for the big clubs. Uh, I think we have to do our job. We have to play well, uh, win the points. We still want to win more games. We need more wins. And uh, starting for from from tomorrow, because I think it's it's a good chance we have, but also it's a, it's a tough ga- game that we will face tomorrow. And just finally, Bill Foley has spoken this week, the chairman, about the, the new stadium plans and other exciting developments. How much does that excite you as the manager that you want to be part of this for the next three, four, five years? Yes, obviously our plans that are long term, I would say, in, in football, three, four, five years, it's long, very long term, you know, you have to focus in the next day, next week, next opponent, and then you cannot go farther than this, but I think overall for the club are very, very, very good news.